hey how's it going guys all right so in the last video um we were working on um the functionality to create accounts within the application so we are now able to uh, create accounts so in this video what we're going to focus on is styling this accordion to display our accounts all right so this is currently just static um uh, a static accordion that I copied over from the bootstrap website and all of that so if you check within the um, by the way don't forget we are in the components folder and then using the accounts display right we click there so this is where our accordion is sitting currently so now what I want to do is delete some of the items so let's see we're gonna start from let's start from here up until the second last div right so we're going to delete that over there okay so here is where the collapse uh, is so this is the accordion body let me just make um what you call it let me just uh put this on the second line so in here we're going to place a list a list we uh, 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 what you call it a list of the account so this is just gonna display the account name um, what you call it the account uh, uh, name number and account type and then along with the balance okay we don't need to display the user ID we have that but the account ID we are going to use um, you'll see that shortly in a bit all right so here is where we're gonna display the name so now we need to loop through the accounts so how we're going to do that is i'll show you now um we're going to say uh let's cut this out right so here we'll say see if right and test and then and then we're gonna close it off here see if okay so here we're just gonna say test um, let's see what did we name that component user accounts okay I'm gonna say uh, request uh, request scope dot user accounts in fact we don't even need the um we don't even need to use the request scope um to check this i mean um if we didn't have accounts this particular component wouldn't show but in any case let's just continue so we're gonna say if not null right then within here we're gonna create a for each loop so it's gonna be um c for each For each okay let me make sure that I spell that correctly for each yeah I think no this is, this is a capital E okay same here all right so here what we need to do is uh, actually firstly we need to say items okay so the items is going to be the account um the account that we're looping through so the what we have to then say here is um request scope and then we're going to say dot uh user accounts okay and then we're going to say bar and then say equal to account and then in here we will then place our accordion all right okay so first thing we need to do here is we're gonna say um account 
right and then dot account name so remember um, let me see that variable there is what we are using to access the uh, the, com the what you call it the uh, the, uh, the what you call it the property and then again the property name needs to be the exact same as what is in here okay all right so before we move on further or no, before we move any further i want to see how this is now displaying on the on the screen so i'm going to save and then i'm going to say i'm going to run the server so let's give it a chance to deploy the application and then we will test once it's back up all right guys the server is up so let's try and see how it's the how our accordion is currently displayed so we have to log out first so and then we say passwords one two three so if we did everything correctly there shouldn't be hopefully there's no errors okay let's see okay so account name not found right oh okay sorry i forgot to put this within the expression tag all right so app controller user accounts make sure i got that right right and then uh, we got the account variable so hopefully we can now access it so i forgot to put this within the uh, expression tag there so yeah all right i'm gonna try again or oh, we'll test when it's back up all right guys so the server is up so let's check now okay so this is what i was going for so as you can see um it's showing the name now the account the account name which is that over there so now we just need to add a list that's going to show the account number in fact it's going to show everything once you click on this drop down so now we're going to use an unordered list or a, 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 a what you call it with the with a bootstrap class which is a list group yeah which is going to give us a nice um um, what you call it um, styling for these uh, lists for this list so now I was a bit lazy to type it out here within IntelliJ because here we don't have access to the what you call it the um, um, what you call it IntelliSense and Emmet and all of that so I decided to type it out here so in any case if you are following along just pause the video and copy what I've highlighted there because this is what we are going to use to display within the uh, within the drop down um, this particular drop down over here so just pause the video copy that because that's what I'm going to use so I'm going to take it here from now copy that and then I'm going to come back here so over here where we have the accordion body this is where we will paste the, the list all right okay let me do this that's really annoying so yeah okay so now um that's gonna be displaying the account so as you can see the variable name um what is it again that's the variable name i kept it the same and so here we're gonna then display all the all the other details of the account so um, again i'm gonna redeploy the file and then once it's up we will then check to see if it does display everything that we need to see within here All right one moment for me please okay guys um the server is now up again so no errors so far within the console so we need to log out and then log in again so we're gonna say sam and then password one two three so if we click here now 
as you can see the drop down is now displaying our our account in full details the account balance the type the account number and the name in total so this is um uh, this is what i was going for in terms of uh, what i wanted how i wanted to use the accordion all right so now i want to add another account and i want to show you something in terms of how this accordion is going to work so we're going to click here um let's call it i don't know sam's coffee shop or something okay um then let's say again it's a business account that account all right so now we have sam's coffee shop so now here's here's an issue if we click there it's going to open both um both of these um uh, drop down uh, menus right if you click on one of them it does that so when i created this i didn't anticipate this um it um um that when you by the way the ids make a difference in terms of um which accordion is being clicked so now how i got around this right so by the way we can close this for now so how i got around this was uh, let's close everything so as you can see when you click on this button here the this button here it's clicking on this it's a targeting the target is this uh, is an, it's the element that has this id in of which it's this one over here so now if you check all since we're looping through all the um uh, we're looping through the accordion and it's listing the accordion based on the number of accounts obviously all the accordion um drop downs are going to have the same id right so to get around this what i did was um here on the id itself all i did was append the account um what is it account id uh this there i appended the account id by the way we need to add that account variable dot that so you need to append that variable there so this is how i got around it um so obviously it's gonna have this flush um flush uh, name and then it's gonna append the id of the account and then we need to do the exact same thing here as well right so we're gonna say we're gonna put that and say account id uh, let me just copy this as it is okay so now because it's looping through the accounts each one each um each um accordion should have a flush and then it's gonna say one um uh, what you call it it's gonna say one and then the next one because there's two accounts for example if you check here now there's two accounts um it's gonna the next one is gonna be two so it should differentiate between um which accordion um is being targeted here when we click on the buttons all right so i'm going to deploy the file again hopefully if um this is how i did it within the original project so hopefully it works again here so let's deploy the file and then we will check it once the application has been deployed uh, one moment for me please all right server is up currently no errors so let's go back to the application sign out so let's log in again Okay, so now let's first start off by clicking on one of them. All right, so as you can see, it's no longer opening both accordions. It's only clicking on one, you see? And then if we inspect the element, okay, so, all right, so if we check, uh, where's the accordion? It's out down here. So if you check, both of them um as you can see it says flush one and then the other one as well is gonna say something like flush two 
So that's how I got around the issue of um, differentiating between the IDs. So, and then the target doesn't show when you inspect it, but in any case, it uh, in the background it knows that this is the uh, which um, what you call it, uh, which um, accordion to when uh, is being targeted when you click on it. All right, so um yeah so just make sure if you're following along just do what i did here just append the account id next to the flush you can add whatever name you want to add here but just make sure that you append the account id so that it knows to differentiate between the the, the, the items All right so and again the list if you copy it if you pause the video just copy what i did here and then you should be able to get something like this accordion All right so yeah um so yeah, that's how um, we now have, um, we can now display accounts on our application. So now the only thing that's left um, is to do the transaction. So in the next video, I think we should work on the deposit part because we need to deposit money within the account and so forth. So we can start off there. So, so far we can add accounts. We already have two. Um, we just need to work on the transaction. So. Um, I can log out now. All right, so that's it for the video. Um, again, if you like what you've seen so far, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys within the next video. All right, cheers for now.